Hello everybody, how's everyone there? Mecha Kida Des. Alright, today we're gonna to talk about Luka Kanishiro, who actually got a very big allegation against him and in a nutshell, I mean like the person who actually put up was around have put up uh, over 70 pages of allegation document so in a nutshell i would just say that um the person actually in question is actually trying to indicate that the person who is behind luka kanishiro is actually a manipulator liar gaslighter or a lot of things along that line that actually kind of like stating that yeah it's not looking good for the Niji Sanji talents. I mean, like, it got so bad that even that like, people trying to do a mass report on the document itself, proving that um, one of her point was that she was attacked by many people. And does it look good on Niji Sanji or Luka or the Niji sister or the Niji defense force? If I pull out the skill right now, it's totally 100% that it's all on their phone right now. So the only thing I kind of find it funny, I'm not going to say like, uh, hey, am I going to do the whole damn report or am I going to talk about the whole damn thing again? I knew about a lot of situation from her case. Like she had, I, she haven't really like said it out, but I have seen her story. I have heard from her bit time to time when she kind of posted it in her Twitter time to time. I take it with a huge spin also. If you guys gonna take it with a huge spin also, I need to throw the side of the screen. If you go ahead, I won't stop you. But again, I will have to let you guys know this is based on her evidence. She had kind of put up a very very long document to the point that um again there is a lot of things. There is a lot of uh things that is very questionable. Um as well as document with picture proving evidence that yes lucas is a manipulator gaslighter along the line or even going to the part of even doxing other people along the line so it's really not good because the the whole of evidence does not look good because it's really a basically what happened is from the start all the way to the current situation uh so basically it does involve the talents behind Luka before he was known as Luka from Niji Sanji. So <clears throat> again, despite the evidence, I will say that you guys can take it with a huge pin or so it is an allegation at the moment that this is not like a court case where it's being confirmed by a lot of things, nor is the person behind the whole situation making any noise about it because he is just playing his own life in his own life stream and trying to indicate that there's nothing wrong with it. And so is he in the wrong or is he in the right? If he choose not to address this situation, I would just say that hey, he 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 is as cute he is as guilty as the document scene. But again, I will still give it a little bit of uh I will still give the Niji sister and the Niji defense force a little bit of lean way to let them breathe in you know, this will not look good on on them in any cases. But again, uh we have to take this with a huge pin of saw that this it, this whole thing look very very <clears throat> strong i mean like in, in terms of evidence everything is very very strong so uh good for russia son to put this thing out because it kind of like at least show her side of the story and what lucas did on the the niji sanji defense force trying to dig to her is really dirty and i will address that in a in a in a while so you guys can understand more uh if you guys don't really want to understand more the one that i stated earlier was already all the things you guys need to know so this is more into giving into the detail as well as my take on this whole situation so if you guys are wanting to hear every single thing based on the detail from start to stretch right uh i will link out you guys to force id video for some video as well as service video which is he actually did mention about the he both of them did read out so i will let you guys go and check them out to understand the whole situation um but i have to i, I tell you guys uh to be taking with a huge pin also and be careful about some of the statement because it does it, i mean like when i read through the whole thing a lot of the evidence is very very strong but as well as some of the evidence seems very like what the hell is that person doing so i'm not saying like with the, the one who write this but more like lucasan <clears throat> so in regard, we are going to address the situation like is Luca a manipulator, a liar, a gaslighter, or as well as a 
horny young men. <clears throat> well, let's address the horny young men first because that I think that may pique you guys' interest. So apparently, um, this horny young man called Lucas-san or the or the te- the person behind Luca Kanishiro, apparently he's a I mean, like, he is a young man who is not wrong. And I mean, like, when, when a young man got horny, yeah, I mean, like, if they want to touch themselves, by all means, go ahead, I'm not stopping there. But when you tell other people that, hey, I'm touching myself because I'm hearing your voice along the line, e- get away from me, you creep. So I'm not saying, like, no one should do like touching themselves if they want to but if you're touching yourself don't announce it don't say it don't tell anyone that hey um i'm touching myself along the line it just it, it, it anyone would say that if you did it then people would just say that you're horny and if you say that you you because you did it you you're touching yourself because of a sexy voice that you are listening to, then you are just horny. You need to go to get, go to a horny jail, and as well as that, people will be like wondering, like, what the hell are you doing? So, <clears throat> yeah, so right now, I know that the DC is saying, hey, um, they touching themselves or they or whatever while listening to Kanishiro voice. I mean, my that's on you guys, not on me. I mean, like don't don't even come near me as if possible. I mean, I mean like. Dude, don't announce it. I mean, like, if you want to do it, by all means, go ahead. I'm not stopping you guys, but don't announce it. It's simple as that. If once you announce it, you'll be like, what the hell are you doing? That's throw every argument out of the freaking window because of everything you can go ahead, you gotta say, oh, I'm, I'm horny because of your voice. To just say that, um, I, I, I might get turned on by your sexy voice along the line but don't say that you're touching yourself i mean like dude you can just leave out some information because there is there's one thing we can see along the line is like too much information why would you want to add that information about you're touching us yourself dude that's just so simple wrong so i'm actually surprised when i was like reading the whole document i was like what the hell is this guy doing so Maybe he like it. I don't know, but definitely I like having a lot of questionable issue about this guy. And then there is also a liar uh situation. Like basically, he's not lying only to uh the person Rasia San. As but more like he he's also lying to a lot of people, including the fan. So what does that mean? Well, there is quite a few strong allegations based on Rossian's statement, and I will let you guys go and check out the document if you guys need to. The link will be in the description below, as well as her tweet, which I will address about this in a while, why I said, uh, why Nichi Sanji Defender Force and the Nichi Sister is doing, doing something stupid right now. Um, not every one of them, but some of them doing very stupid things. So as for right now, the the reason why I say that he may be a manipulator or gaslighter is that based on Rossia's uh Rossia's son statement, she mentioned along the line that Lucas son had been stating about using his own family state uh, issue to try to gain sympathy from her as well as many people as well as that when she go along with uh when look when Lucas son, I think I can fashion fa- based on her statement is like Lucas son is also a very lazy person so based on Lucas son situation a lot of things that he so called did as a Niji Sanji talents is that most of them are actually done by her. And it's a very, very strong allegation because when she put up statement, like when she actually freaking show uh evidence based on everything, um I was like what the hell were you thinking? I mean like you if you're if I'm gonna do things right, uh if someone do it for me, I not not only do I have to pay f- her for it, I have to at the same time ensure that everyone that hey, I'm not the one, only one working on this thing. That I, I have some people, com- uh, I commission someone to help me do this thing for me along the line. Then, yeah, that's a whole new different story. But then again, when you have 
thinks that he su was supposed to be the one doing it let's say for example writing a statement or maybe like say, doing the Minecraft things like shh, all this image is technically taken from uh by her and Rossi's son did everything as for Lucas -san. and Lucas -san trying to say hey I'm the one doing every single thing and it just doesn't even look good for Lucas -san. because the thing is right I know the sister is now saying am I teasing him or making fun of him I'm not I'm just being critical in a way it's just that when you have people coming up with strong evidence indicating that he is a lazy person who don't do anything maybe i mean like give him let's say let's say that he's not busy he's not lazy or whatever let's give him a benefit of doubt like he he maybe have he's too tired from doing all the live stream he's just tired from uh doing whatsoever so obviously if you ask someone to help you to do it yeah it is possible but then again that also break the content of the contract for niji sanji which is basically meaning that you can't give your information to a third party and she is technically a third party so if that's the case it will mean that niji sanji should technically based on the contract to terminate lucas san but they are not which which i will address that maybe there's a like maybe he is holding a high position within Niji Sanji, or maybe there is a favorable reason within Niji Sanji in a way. We should, we'll address that li later on. But the thing is, right? It just proved that whatever. Why I say he's a liar is that it if the statement of she had done everything for him is true, including writing the one million sent uh, the one million sentence. Would mean one thing and one thing only, and that is Lucas San had been asking other person to do it for him, and she is the one like write the whole signature or the hey guys, thanks for supporting me along the line. Like the one, the one million subscriber handwritten message basically is just proof that Luca was throwing every single word to Rossia San and that he is just he doesn't care about the fan and it's it's really like back to like what is he doing i mean like this is supposed to be things like he's he's the one supposed to be doing it i mean like if you ask someone to like if you commission someone like let's say for the minecraft like let's like give it a little bit of uh gihante okay the minecraft even if you say that Minecraft, you if you don't have the f if you don't have the time to do it, you commission someone to do it for you. Sure, I mean like you pay the person for it. You at least credit that that it, uh, there is a staff doing it for you along the line. Then yeah, I think it's fair to say that that there's nothing wrong with that, right? Because the thing is, right, it's not unheard of for an event within like. VTuber where it's not everything done by the live but more likely to be done at least more excuse me for that but more likely to be done by with with a fair share of other people i mean like there's nothing wrong with sh having everyone sharing a bit of uh, work here and there which the reason why sometimes you commission someone you pay for them and then you credit them that's the most important part but when you have someone stating that hey um i did everything myself not only are you stealing the credit for other people world but you are also telling a lot of other people saying that hey you are uh you are you're just basically stealing people work and doing it for herself i mean like that she actually stated that she had going to uh he uh lucas -san had go to the point of stating that he used other people copyright music for himself and that doesn't even look good because it was such a case the one with okayu background music so it it just proved to show i mean like if you even for me who when using like 
copyright music i still have to give a bit a bit of credit like say the music is by who even if i don't know the music is who who is the one what is the title of the music if i write the music is by who that's more than enough because you you are at least crediting someone for your uh, for using their music even if they say it's copyright free no matter what giving credit is the most important part but lucasan did not give the credit and he's lying to the whole people saying that he's the one doing it so at this point i think it's one point to rasia san and and guilt like in terms of guiltiness lucasan is is one point downwards so at this point it's really not looking good for like it's really not looking good for Lucasan, and it's even more so when the one million subscriber, as as I mentioned, the one million subscriber so called gift statement to everyone was all written not by Lucasan, or the signature is not even done by Lucasan, but everything is done by someone else, and you have to imagine like every fan all the fan who support luca kanishiro is receiving a message not from him directly but from someone else so how does that feel now because the thing is right it, what made things even more worse is that um all the message that every all the fan receive right or uh, things that we receive in a way is that everything is not if it's not just only done by someone else but also that even if they receive the print it's just a print it's not signed off directly by someone uh not signed off by luca himself so it just proved to show that luca is in a way in my view a lazy person who is asking someone to do his work i mean like if he's doing his work with some point yeah i can see maybe he's he's he is doing some sort of thing but if this kind of thing where he is the one supposed to do it himself and he choose to give it to other people to do it i mean that's something wrong with him so at this point it, it, it's like he's not even caring for his fan i mean like even when a lot of fans start turning against him and he start begging for it it'll, it'll be back to the point that he just read what he saw but then again uh will people still support him at this point i think there will be there will be and again what i would say that there will be a that will be a problem which i will address that at the last but one understand one thing is that it's like the fan of uh, Nishi Sanji or the or people who is trying to defend Lucas, you have to understand, he doesn't based on the statement, he doesn't even care for you guys. He's just using you guys as a stepping stone, as his money tree, as uh, and he doesn't even care you guys enough to write a message himself. So if you guys care about him, by all means go ahead. I'm not stopping you guys. I'm not a person to stop anyone for sup supporting anyone. But you guys have to understand based on her statement even if you guys want to take it with a huge pinch of salt if what he uh, she said is correct it just proves that he is a gaslighter and a manipulator and a liar for everyone and that is something that we have to be very careful because he's just basically reaping the benefit for himself and throwing everyone under the bus or maybe under the abyss or keep, keep people off the boat along the line and even if the boat is gonna sink along the line he's still gonna kick you out because he he will just think that he, the boat will will still float as long as there is one less person on board so at this point i feel like it's very very stupid because if he's choosing to keep quiet and letting his own fan doing every single thing it is not going to be so good and again i'll address that at the last the one second thing uh what was the thing i want to address again you guys you have to understand sometimes i have to be for uh, i'm such an old man sometimes i forget quite forgetful of every, a lot of things well anything uh you guys have to understand is that if, so far based on the whole situation is he a lazy person based on the statement maybe maybe yes maybe no uh did he push all the work to other people to do it for him and then he take the credit for it it seems very likely because there is evidence of it and then there is also issue of that he is throwing other people under the bus we is that you have to understand that based on statement right there is cases of him showing every like showing screenshot to uh, uh 
Rossier son about things that is required to do, or maybe he's like not happy about things that we in Niji Sanji talents like he's an issue with niji sanji talents along the line or maybe he is like having infer uh having issue with voss akuma about voss being way popular than him and he and he haven't reached his milestone and and he he, he he's having a some sort of inf inferiority complex along the line because based on this whole situation right um I think it's fair for me, even though he doesn't seem like it, right? But based on uh, the words that the evidence, based on the way he's showing me, based on the things that been put up on, it, I can roughly understand his personality. And you guys have to understand, it's very hard for me to gauge a person unless I see them. But if I can base up my knowledge based on what I'm seeing right now, all the evidence, all this thing, right? And at the same time, based on his tune, based on his uh, method of speed, his tone, all this thing, I think it's fair for me to at least gauge that he is a person with issue on, maybe due to his friendly because based on Rasia san mentioned she she did say that she Luca san have an issue with her own mother her own within her friend uh, within his family so that may be an issue that lead him to be a little bit of um manipulator or uh, gaslighter along the line which i think he definitely need help i still stand by with my statement that when i say he definitely need help he's really he's really need help but then again even if he's a bad person whether he's a manipulator he gets lighter along, along the line i feel that what he need is he need a, he need a change and someone the right person to change him because even if because I feel like he he just need a little bit of help to lead him down right uh lead him down the right path, and he also sh seems to be showing signs of uh attention seeker, which is a problem because it is in the top. But then again, when he reached the top, um, there is one thing that I'm very afraid of is that he he's seeking even more. As well as that he's also showing case of that once you reach the top he that which he think he is and that he is telling everyone that hey you guys should listen to me right now so right now he seems show, seems to be showing this kind of behavior which he definitely need help and when i say he need help is like he need help in changing his behavior all along the line because it is not very good for him in uh no matter how i look at it so again if he choose to continue this path himself that will be when he'll cross that final line himself and he will be considered a very dangerous person but then again um at, at the time of this recording i can't be sure whether will he cross that line but i feel like there is a small chance of him being able to be safe but that is only if he want to be safe the only thing is that at this point of time it doesn't seem like he want to be safe and the more he's trying to when he's leading being laid down the wrong path as Rosian said basically um uh, throwing her under the bus or letting the defender or the her, his fan to defend him along the line it just think that he got a little bit of um like the job the uh some other prankster having lawyer fan defending them along the line which is basically very very bad again i mentioned toxic uh toxic talents can attract toxic fat in a way and if the if even if people say that niji san even if people say that he's um in niji sanji luka san is not toxic but if he's not stopping the toxicity within his fan he and he's he's encouraging people to like attack other people who is trying to go against him or trying to be vocal against him that just proved to show that he is a person who is trying to manipulate even through indirectly so it is definitely not looking good and again now we'll put up the to the last topic which is basically the defender of niji sanji or his fan or the niji sister along the line okay i think you guys had noticed quite a few times at the start when i keep showing um this part right when like this does not persuade her this look far looks suspicious along the line but well, the thing is right apparently okay as highlighted by Savi again, uh, Niji fan mass report damning 
Lucas document, which I'll pull up the document, uh, the link to again in the description below, so you guys can check it out yourself. Um, personally, I do not think it's very good for Niji Sanji or Lucas San or if they fail to address it. I mean, like they should come out and address this situation at least give their side of the story. But if they f if they can't come up with a strong argument against the document, that even if even if they come up with an argument, let's say let's say even if they come up with an argument, if they don't show proof, uh, as per what Rafias uh Rafia San did, then and and it, basically I'll just take it that his 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 word hold no strength. What does that mean? It's just that he it she is showing like i say with evidence but lucas san if she's decided to say it without evidence it just proved again like i mentioned in the turn in the eyes of the law if i'm the judge i will believe russia san more than lucas san because lucas san is just saying whatever he want and there's no evidence to back it up so that is something you gotta have to understand uh every why evidence whether be soft or hard it is very very important because it can tell a story a lot than you guys might think so even if people saying that hey maybe some of the images are documents some of the screenshots are documents along the line but if they bring up the evidence and the witness behind the person that did they say uh, like did they type this message out right so even let's say for example if uh, for the document about susan uh from nichi sanji is this this uh discussing about the, the so-called anniversary uh, their anniversary for for Niji Sanji Lucia wave, um, if he choose to stand up and say, if people say that, uh, if the lawyer asks or the judge asks, is this screenshot true? If he say yes, then look at some situation will be very worse because he did provide the screenshot. But if Susan say no, then it will debunk the statement. But there is a catch when he say no. If in the court he was found lying, if Susan is found lying, then Susan will be considered a liar as well with Lucas, meaning to say that there is two liars. And that will also not only destroy the reputation of both Susan and Lucas, but it will also mean that Russia San statement is whole more strength. So what you guys have to understand that if you guys want to say that hey maybe we should get, get someone within Niji Sanji to stand up as a witness you have to understand you can't lie in court if you are found you are lying in court not only is the witness evident all this strength is being thrown out of the window that person will also be deemed a liar for the rest of her life okay so this is a very sun this is a very bad situation for Niji Sanji because this is one thing is that if they found they are lying they are liar for life that's one title that whether you guys want to like whether do susan want to risk it or not so at this point of time again this is a very again why i at the start saying that it's very very against niji sanji at this point is that the evidence show to be very very strong and even if the tenants come and say it's false they have to provide it why it is false like they have to provide on their end the undocumented the document from there and to prove that is not the case but if they fail to even provide that on their end it just means that they are also lying and that can be thrown out of the window of the, the Niji Sanji defend and they'll be all deemed a liar so at this point I'm saying that well I'm saying that they may be a liar I have not conclusionally saying that they are a liar it just means that they may be a liar that and again we have to take it that this is an allegation with a huge pin of salt and even i myself will be throwing the salt against my own screen while doing this recording so the thing is right you guys have to be very careful about a lot of situation like apparently uh, allegation or this thing is that we do not know the whole truth again uh i'm giving you guys my thing and what i say is not very good and uh, it's not even good because and for Lucas as well is that based on all this documentation it would have seen that Lucas not only provide information about Niji Sanji situation or like their event their uh screenshot of what the talents are talking with each other in a way can be can be considered a form of toxic but it also can be shown to uh as like 
a break in the contract if Niji Sanji trying to kick him out of the wind uh out of Niji Sanji along the line. Uh but considering he, he is re- like live streaming himself, then um I don't think Niji Sanji is acting on it, which can prove a few things, which is basically that he is a golden boy of Niji Sanji where they are not going to act against him or he is very likely to hold a high position within Niji Sanji considering he's the part of the Lucia wave uh, which is considered the higher like the higher earner for Niji Sanji in a way so if you guys think about it right um, from how I look at it it is not looking good for Niji Sanji because like let's say Holo Life when Lucia did something bad, what did Niji, like what the Hollow Life did? When Lucia re- revealed that she had released information to third party, she was immediately, despite, uh, like despite every, like despite everything, Hollow Life terminate her. Even when people say that she was one of the top earner. And if Niji Sanji really want to cover themselves, they should do the same example as Holo Life, which basically even if Lucasan is a top earner, he they should really fire him because he had broke the contract. But if they choose not to break the contract with him, it just proves to show that yes, uh, he may be a top exclusive within Niji Sanji. He is one of the top people who can't be kicked out, or maybe that they they again the word called favorism within Niji Sanji where Vo Akuma is trying to say there is no favorism in Niji Sanji but the thing is right if if there is no favorism then based on all this evidence it should be stating that Lukasan should be terminated but because he is not terminated and he's still doing live stream at the time of this recording then it will show to prove that yes Niji Sanji is either trying to say that he's he is one of the top people in Niji Sanji a top exclusive along the line of people is and that will have the highlight in a while but it, it, there's also a, a case of favorism with Niji Sanji because it will not look because he's not being like he's being protected by the company so i mean like the worst case possible is that if he's one of the top exclusive it would also mean that there is a creche there is a group of people who is uh so-called going around taking uh not giving other talents the chance to grow but making sure they are the one growing along the line and when you look at like the whole situation when Selene Tosuke is saying there is a toxic behavior or uh, there is a crease within Niji Sanji even when Sayu is the one stating the whole s- situation herself it would also prove that Lukasa may be part of that group himself and it will not look good on everyone because even if Ni- like even if when Nina and Mr. Ray get out and stating that oh no such thing but I was if you look at the whole situation, um, I still stand by my word that Mother uh, Kuro, uh, Kenai Kuro and Mother Ross should actually apologize in a way for that. Maybe they were harsh a little too harsh on Sayusan, even when Sayusan uh, along the line maybe the maybe the one did a little bit of wrong. I'm not saying that Sayusan is not innocent herself, but it would also mean that um, Mother Ross and Kuro was part of the creators themselves, or maybe like the me, uh, the immediate between the Krish and the other live along the line, and the reason why they are out is because they couldn't bear with it and they want to be out of it, all along the line of that they just don't want to be part of it in a way. So are they innocent in a way? I still stand by my word saying that they may hold a little bit of responsibility accountability along the line not saying that they have to be whole whole full responsible but at the same time you have to understand that when you did something in the past does that mean you not guilty when you are out of it no you had did it you are not innocent because you had did it you have to understand it's the same thing as when i ask you guys one question let's say for example if a murderer had murdered someone and then he he t- he turned into a new leaf but he had not been charged for the murder and it was later on found out that he was a murderer a case like let's say 20 30 years ago maybe in the in the eyes of the law it's an old cold case they can't charge him but does that undermine that he's not guilty of murder 
You understand what I mean? So the thing is, right, you you will still say that he they have to hold a, a little bit of responsibility. So if, let's say, for example, if Nina and Mr. Ray at the time was uh, part of the grid, they, they they have to hold a little bit of responsibility. They they can't just, I don't know, say, hey, I'm not out on the something. I no, hold, no longer hold responsibility. It's all in the past. A person who kills someone will still call a, a murderer even if the case is something that is a cold case a robber who steals from someone doesn't undermine he was a person who robbed from someone so you gotta have to understand the reason why i'm saying in the eyes of the law why i feel like kuro and madara su come out and say something along the line is that from how i look at it it doesn't look good for them but again, if they if they kind of like settle it properly with Sayu San, then I think it is fair to give forgive them. But at, at this time, um, it is something you guys understand. The Chris within Niji Sanju is I'm very vocal since quite a long time ago. Like why I say like there seems to be competition within Niji Sanji, like why there is a bit of toxic environment within Niji Sanji is that it has been there since the JP site and it's very very bad and even more so when you have one of like one of, of the talents being part of the top exclusive in Niji Sanji and they can either bring you down or bring you up if you if you go to that if you are being uh, polite to them and they they feel like hey you know what I'm going to bring you up then good for you but if you go against them, let's say for example like Selen Tatsuki or Tokiba at the time go against them in many time, it will also explain why she was sabotaged or stopped many times on a lot of her project because she was against Niji Sanji management at the time. And it will also prove why I say management in a way is that you guys have to understand if if Lukasan is part of the uh, exclusive, the top exclusive in Niji Sanji. Then it also means that he may be part of the management within Niji Sanji. And that will also un uh, prove to show that why did most of the talent was able to see the document sent by Toki Bird at the time when, uh, when uh, like, it really answer a lot of questions like maybe the Cree was the part of the management uh why Vok Vok Akuma said I had read the document and read through it in a way so basically like the talents are not supposed to be seeing it so if the talents are looking at the situation right then it will mean that yes it will prove that the, the talents are part of the management and they are the one who have been doing all these things that is crazy with Niji Sanji and that is something that has to change but then again uh, will they change maybe yes maybe no maybe I don't know but at the time of this recording it, it seems like uh, every time when Niji Sanji give a promises they fail to de 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 deliver on it and how many years have I since last seen Niji Sanji change for me who live in Japan for six, uh, for 6 years I seen the growth of Niji Sanji up and close and I can assure you, they never change. And even though there are people who is still going around defending uh, Luca in like in any way, I'm not stopping them. People can defend them. It's just that when you trying to silence this statement, right? It will also under uh, also prove one point that she put up at the start of the uh, document, which does not look good for them. So. Along the line, like what, like as quoted by Russ, uh, Russ well, some may be asking why I didn't do this sooner. I will be completely honest. No one cares. Um, sorry, I care at the time. I did read your Twitter, so I hope you got hope you can have some, some more confidence on that. Okay, I am to this day harassed and sent death threat by Luca fan base. So this is the reason why I'm saying that if this is done by Luca car fan base then it would mean that she why she couldn't say that is because they have been trying to discredit her as well as spreading lies about her which i have seen a lot of lies like she is a groomer or she is uh, sexual harassing um lucasan which i have seen those I have seen personally out close myself those allegations and what i say is allegation by the fan base i, I don't believe her uh, the fan base statement until when I hear her story, and now I have seen this story. If when she's when she 
when they say that uh, when she say that they have actively suppressed and lied and now they are doing this to her this proved her point that she had been suppressed by the fan base of luka san and this does not look good for niji sanji because it also proved to everyone that the niji sister the niji defense force the whatever niji fan base you can call them or luka san fan base along the line that they are as bad as you guys might think because the thing is right if you if you think that this is false information posted by someone then you should be providing the evidence that this is not true you don't go around taking down things and mass report things because what they are doing right now is considered a suppress of information the suppression of truth and i mentioned a lot of time myself sometimes some true and some fact hurt a lot whether you like it or not and right now the fan base again is they are now in i i, I think the it's really fair to say say that at this point, all the defend force of Niji Sanji, all the Niji sister, all the loyal fan base of Luka San, they are now at the worst stage of the fourth stage to menace, which is basically the full denial stage. They are denying this information. And if they are denying this information, then it would I think it's fair for me to say that they are just one step to being called mad. And once they cross that final line, there is a very dangerous line to cross. So what you guys have to understand that um, why I say that the, the Niji Sanji defense force or sister should really stop this kind of de persuasion is that if they f if you feel like this is not right and if you want to take it with a few pins of salt, then come up with evidence yourself from not not out of nowhere okay at least prove evidence using lucas information to indicate that it's not true but lucas is not debunking it and they are not asking and there is no evidence to in, to debunk it at this point the only way for niji sanji defense force or niji sister to start action on it is when lucas san or the niji sanji pull up a statement themselves and again like i mentioned with evidence but if they choose not to put evidence then they are just plainly saying someone is false and they are they niji sanji is already well known for lying for many years already now it just take years for people to notice niji sanji have been lying and at this point it's just ridiculous and one more thing is that I'm actually pretty surprised there are some Niji Sanji sisters who are mad over Luka San. Um, they are angry at the situation. They want the AR life to do well, all these things. But the thing is, right, even though they are angry at it, they, they are not really like mad at Luka San entirely from how I look at it. They are just mad that this thing happened out of nowhere. Is it a, a, a act by her to put it out at this time? I think no. It's a good timing, personally, because um, it would seem. I mean, like Niji San. I mean, like hear me out, guys. If the Niji Sanji defense force, the Niji sister or the loyal fan base of Luka San, if they did not, and I have to mention, if they did not send her death threat or trying to discredit her or suppress her, then she won't be out against the wall. You guys have to understand when you push a rat against the wall. It will it will jump back and bite you. So what Niji Sanji defend force themselves? You have to understand, Niji sister, Niji Niji defend force, loyal fan of Luka San, you did it to yourself. You are the one who caused this issue to blow off proportion. If you guys did not go to be toxic if you guys did not tell anyone even if you say that you are not the one doing it but when you guys not notice that if there are other people doing it and you choose not to add on it you are as guilty as anyone else because you acknowledge the thing happening understand so whether if you guys want to want it or not if you are a different force of niji sanji or niji sister or something along the uh, a line of being a loyal fan of luka san you guys have to understand you are given that title and you use that title proudly unless you are not a supporter of niji sanji you are not a niji sister you are not a loyal fan of luka san then by all means you are, go ahead you are 
maybe you are free from all these things. But I mean, like, if you are going around stating that, hey, Lucasan is not as what you guys think, but the thing is, right, the evidence seems to be showing that, hey, even I myself, looking at uh, putting up the skill, I think that Lucasan is executed as you guys might think now. Initially, I come into this whole situation reading the whole document that, hey, uh, was it really that bad? 70 plus pages of situation of story about all the things that lucas had did it's crazy it's really really crazy but having people saying that this is all false when there is no way they are countering it it just proves to show that they are being immature or being tossed in as what many people have been saying and it's really really bad even for me will i defend like will I still say it's an allegation? I mean like if if I'm the one giving the judge, I I would still listen to Lucasan's situation. But again, like I mentioned, if the evidence provided by Niji Sanji or Lucasan is not strong enough, or if they try to lie, like asking the evi- uh, the witness to lie, then if and they got found out, then it will not look good for them. So all you know you guys have to understand that. My take on all this is that Lucasan situation is, I mean, like unless they highlight, uh, look unless Lucasan as well as Niji Sanji put up a statement with evidence to counter all these things. If not, I, I even I myself is in time to believe on this statement against Lucasan, and more so that uh, based on the finance situation, right, many people not in Japan are like I mentioned have been closely following the situation about Niji Sanji En. And what you guys have to understand that if a lot of people are now trying to get out of Niji Sanji stock, the reason being is that the drama of this thing, right, does not look good for Niji Sanji. It really, really doesn't. And more so that evident when 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 you when you are an investor and you found that niji sanji is not worth the uh investing because if you look the stock market of holo life and niji sanji holo life despite not having high stock mar- value uh, stock market value than niji sanji they are pumping out a lot of expansion pumping out a lot of uh grow, grow pumping out uh, even to the point of having their own studio along the line it just proves that they are using the investor money to better themselves and make sure that in the long run the investor will not regret investing on them but if niji sanji investor think about it right and they found out that the money they have been giving to the company is not used to grow, but to fatten themselves. Then why would I invest in a company that is wasting my money for, for no reason? So obviously, I will be getting out of Nijin Sanji in my own way. So all in all, this, um, uh, as reported by Savi San, I would link out you guys to Savi San video so you guys can check it out. I believe it's in... Uh, yes right here uh that uh, there are some people saying that people are saying that me lucas is a, p- a person who deserved to be fired long ago and he never even apologized and now a lot of a lot of investor of niji sanji decided to hey you know what coming the coming monday the uh the, the stock market open we are going to sell a lot of a lot of people seem willing to sell now so we have to give it away and see situation see how much people are wanting to sell along the line but uh it will not look good on niji sanji if if the market i will be more don't you guys worry i'll be monitoring the niji sanji stock in a way because the stock have been on the decline lately so We'll see how it goes. But again, it is not looking good for Niji Sanji, considering that more and more people realizing that Niji Sanji is a lost cause, is a shinking ship. Um will I go and say like sing the yacht along the line? I mean like it's it's already a t- freaking Titanic at this point of time. So we 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 the only thing I would just say give you a wait and see approach and see how bad the whole situation will come uh come to be. But again, like I mentioned this is all random this is uh, all my speculation, my theory, as well as my random chat. So take it with a few pins or so and throw the sword at the screen if you need to. And But if you do have your own opinion or your own thought, write in the comment below and we can discuss it further. But 
I mean, like, there's really nothing much more to, for me to say about this whole situation other than a few things. I just say, I would just say it's not looking good for Niji Sanji. But if you guys think otherwise, just write down. I mean, like, I'm open for discussion in, in any case. But with that being said, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe for more random chat where I talk about stuff that never, never follow a single trip. But for some reason, I've been talking about Niji Sanji for quite a lot lately. But either way, I hope you guys have a nice day all night. Bye.